Well, hello everybody! Welcome back to G-Bear's Off-Grid Ways, the homestead in the desert. And uh, today is, guess the shape of the clouds. What are they? Alright, leave your comments down below when you pick out a cloud. Uh, explain which one it is and what you think it is. We've got a few of them out there. Got a few more over here, but other than that, it's clear skies. And wind, of course. What would G Bear's off grid ways be without winds, right? Who knows? All right. So, I had a lot of comments yesterday on uh, the failing batteries, and I said I was going to try something today and uh, see how that turns out. So, I did. I tried. And this is what I tried. Okay. Here we go. Right, let me let uh, uh, Nurse Limpy is licking a cut on the back of my leg. It, well, not a cut, it's a scratch. But she decided that she needed to take care of it while I was standing here. All right, she's done. All right, so here's what I did. I took the batteries, two batteries, and disconnected them. And I charged them. A 2C charger, that's a 20 amp charger for 12.8 volts. So with the batteries separated, I charge them separately. Cost me some gasoline to do so, but I had to do this as an experiment. So I charged them all the way up to 100%. And then I reconnected them into the system. Okay. And then I tested the voltages on them, and they were all... Uh, fairly within um, you know, within reason being pretty good okay so here's where we are now look at that 52.6 I'm at like 24 30 percent of my batteries are left all right and I still have solar coming in it, it's driving me crazy it's not charging it's uh, go all going to feeding the cabin what the cabin uses and I'll post it I won't forget to post some screenshots of the um, usage today it wasn't overwhelming usage totally ridiculous now when I first hooked everything up I had a hundred percent in my batteries that dropped down to where we are now within a few hours and that's just running um, maybe two ceiling fans no air conditioning nothing extra like that just two ceiling fans and the usual refrigerator and freezer and a couple of clocks things like that so bottom line junk battery junk battery junk battery now this one has been on a slow charger um, with solar for well since I took it out of there what a week and a half ago or a week ago well it's right now only at 13.3 that means that that battery is trash if I take the charge off of it uh, that will ch drop down in oh, well, let's say 20-30 uh, minutes That'll be down to uh, 12 something. That battery's trash. That battery's trash. That battery's trash. I'm living on two batteries, but I have to keep the other two in the group so that I have my 48 volts to run my system. Now, I'm going to be starting up the generator again and burning more fuel to, ba to bring these batteries up to 100% before bed. And then I'm probably going to get up in the morning with really low batteries. But I can make it through the night without my power shutting off. And that's important. Now, down here, just running that one little um, Seacon battery. That one's been running the lights in the cabin for months now. 14.2 in the battery right now. And solar still charging. So, 
go figure. What the heck is going on here? It's got to be the batteries. There's the, the batteries are failing now. The serial numbers on these right here, between this one, this one, and this one, between those three, only the last number changes by one digit. So those three came out of the same lot. This one comes comes to it from a completely different lot because the last three numbers on this one is 776. And then these are like uh, 723, 724, um, 721, things like that. So yeah, there's a problem here. Definitely a problem. So I put that information out to lead time and they said that they were going to ex expedite things once I sent them the serial numbers. I did that yesterday, haven't heard from them since. That's not good customer service. And uh, I, I'll tell you, I am a little um, prejudiced towards uh, WattCycle, but when, look, when I contact WattCycle, I get instant, instantaneous results. I don't have to wait two, three, or even a week for to get a response on it. So I want these batteries replaced or refunded, one or the other, and I'll just go with Watt Cycle. I'll just buy all Watt Cycles and I'll live happily ever after, as they say. So that's it. Oh, I gotta go shut something off here. I forgot to because the dogs were bothering me. Oh, that's bad. My chicken's charcoal. Oh, yeah. Woo, look at that. I think they can be saved. Wow, those are hot. Boy, it's a good thing I turned around and looked out here. I'll let that burn off for a minute and then I can set them back up in place and I can finish cooking. Saved by the bell. <laughs> oh God. If it ain't one thing, it's another. That's what I have to say, brother. All right, everybody. That's all I really have for today. I just wanted to fill you in on what was happening. So I'm going to go inside sit down and get frustrated because I'm going to have to fire up the gen here in a few minutes and charge those batteries. And I'll show you what goes on with that too when I I'll, uh, I'll mark the time that I with a photo that I start the gen and then I'll mark the time that I shut it off. Now normally I can charge them up to about 65-70 percent and uh, that would be okay if I still had sun out to um, put some power in on the solar panels. But since it's going into dark now, I'm going to have to run the gen until I fully charge those batteries. Or I'll be awakened at, in the morning with zero power and be out here starting the generator at 6 a.m. God, this is not fun. Thanks, everybody. This is G-Bear reminding you, thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave your comments below. Chief Bear signing off. Okay, so here's what's going on with the generator running. <clears throat> I've got 948 watts of the generator going into the uh, batteries for charging it, and they're now at 45%. And I've got only using 140 watts in the cabin, so that's uh, sharing the uh, output of the generator. The cabin's taking 140 watts to run right now. So that's like uh, 1.88 uh, um, kilowatts, 1.88 kilowatts coming out of the gen going for charge. But you can see that at 45%, it's going to have to run for a while. So I don't know why I paid thousands of dollars for uh, lead time batteries and then I've got to spend uh, 
big money in gasoline to charge them when I've got plenty of solar power out there. Doesn't make sense. But, hey, every company has problems. So I have to do say that uh, if, uh, if lead time's having problems, at least stand behind them. You know, contact me, tell me, hey, um, we're sorry, we're, we're going to replace those batteries and take care of the situation. Don't leave me hanging here hoping that I'm going to have electricity in the morning. That's just not right. All right, everybody, this is going to be tapped onto the video.